Hey guys, Carlos Power right here. Today I'm doing a catch and cook, and the target species is snook. Snook is a very beautiful and popular game fish here in Florida. So I'm going to show you guys a video clip of me catching it right now. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Hey guys, so me and my boy Chris are out here. Say what's up, Chris. What's up? We have some Maharas in there. It's the evening. It's about to be that guy has a snook right there. We're about to go see if we can catch some snook. See Maharas right there? Yep. This guy just got a snook. So we're about to go see if we can catch some. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can get. There we go, baby. There we go. Chris! Chris! Try to break this bowl. Take the ball that broke off first. I think it's too small, but whatever. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. Now it's all there. Good. No, it's not. Nope. First bait. Got it. Seven. Oh. Nice. I'll just be casting like over here. Just like in this area. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Get the net, get the net, get the net. They're coming on this side. Drop it right here. Yeah. Ah. Fuck. Pick it up, pick it up. Nice. I don't think it's big enough. It's too small. Oh well, shit, it might be close. Oh. Say it might be a little close. Baby. Yeah, probably. Thanks, man. Uh. 
on that thing, man. That's a bucket for you. Yeah, I know. Oh, cool. Thanks a lot. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back. So now let's fillet the snook. So guys, there's a nice chunk of meat we got after filleting the fish. This is the type of seasoning that I will be using. Now all I'm going to do is just season this fillet lightly. I don't want to put too much on there because I don't want it to be too salty. But I'm going to put just enough to get around the whole fillet. And that should be good. So guys, I'm going to cook the snook on this George Foreman grill. Now I just plugged George Foreman grill in. So I'm gonna wait till it warms up a little bit before I put the snook on there. So guys, while the George Foreman grill is warming up, I'm going to actually cook some zucchini and squash with the snook and cook some coconut rice. And I'm gonna show you guys how I cook my coconut rice and zucchini and squash, so stay tuned. So guys, now we're gonna cut up some squash. Now when you're cutting it, you don't want the slices to be too thin. Maybe cut them um, half an inch, just like that. So now we're going to cut up the zucchini. So you want to cut these around the same size as you did the squash. So now what we're going to do is warm up a skillet, put a little olive oil on there, and just cook them just like that. So guys, the skillet is warmed up now. So what we're going to do is use some of this extra virgin olive oil and just pour some on the skillet and let that warm up now. So now that this is warmed up, we're just gonna gently put some zucchini and squash down here. Now when I'm cooking this, I like to cook each side till it's a little crispy. And I also put a top over this so it cooks quicker. So the grill is hot enough now. So what we're going to do is spray a little of this olive oil spray on here so it doesn't stick. Now we're going to put the snook on there. So I like to hear. And then put the top back on. Now let's go finish cooking our zucchini and squash and then we can make our coconut rice. So the zucchini and squash are cooking really well right now. So let's flip them over and see if it has that nice crispy look. See, that's how you want it to look. It's cooking really well and it's nice and crispy. That's how I like to eat my zucchini and squash. So let's flip all of them over. All of them are getting nice and crispy right now. Let's put the top over it. They should be done in another three minutes. Now let's go take that snook off the grill. The snook is done. So let's take it off the grill. Do this without it falling apart. Oh, fail. Fell apart, but whatever. Get that piece. And get these pieces over here.
Look at that. Nice white meat right there. So now let's take the zucchini squash off and then we can make our coconut rice. So now we're going to take the zucchini and squash off and that looks amazing. So we're going to put it on the plate. The squash and zucchini are nice and crispy, just the way I like it. There we go. Look at that dish. That dish is looking amazing right now. So now we're going to cook the coconut rice and then we can eat it. So guys, when you're cooking coconut rice, you need rice and coconut milk. Now the type of coconut milk that I'm using is a taste of Thai. So for every cup of rice, you want a cup and a half of coconut milk and one cup of water. So let's do that now. So I'm pouring my cup of water in there right now. And now we're going to do a cup and a half of coconut milk. So we're pouring our coconut milk in there right now. And now we're going to let it boil. Now when it starts to boil, then that's when you put the rice in there. But before it starts boiling, you want to stir the coconut milk and the water together. The coconut milk and water are now boiling, so let's pour in the cup of rice. Now we're just going to keep stirring this around till it's done. I like to stir it probably every minute and just wait till the rice is done. So stay tuned. Well, the rice just got done, so let's put a little on the plate. And let's eat. All right, guys, I'm really excited to try this snuck out, especially with the coconut rice and the zucchini and squash. So let's give it a try. All right, guys, let's try it out. The snook tastes phenomenal. The seasoning that I use just enhances the flavor. And the meat is nice and white and it's very delicious. Let's try it with the coconut rice. The coconut rice is really good too. Just the coconut rice with the fish brings out just a different flavor. It's like an island taste to it, which I really like. Now I'm gonna try the zucchini and squash. The squash is phenomenal. And the zucchini is really good too. Guys, this is an, an awesome quick dish that anybody can make. Um, the snook is really good. Um, I can't wait to catch more because this is a really good fish and the coconut rice is delicious and the zucchini and squash. So yeah guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and fish on.